Greetings. You're watching this video because your contractor is using JobTread to organize their jobs and also keep you in the loop. So the first thing you might receive is an email similar to this one, where it's prompting you to view the proposal sent to you by your contractor. All you need to do is click this button and it will open up the document right here in your customer portal. Now I can go ahead and review the document. I can also choose some selection options. So maybe I'd like to add, you know, each of these to my kitchen. Great. Why not throw in a wine fridge? Then I can also go ahead and head down here and choose my countertop options. So right now my subtotal is a range, but once I go ahead and select one of these options, that will change to a hard number and I can adjust my selections accordingly. So now I'm in control of my budget and I can feel good about what I'm going to spend. I also may have the option to apply for uh, lending through Acorn Finance. That's strictly between myself and the lender. My contractor really won't have any involvement in that, but it can give me some extra funds to make sure I can afford the project. Down below, you'll see that you have the terms and conditions or maybe the contract language to review, and then you can go ahead and sign this. Great. And then you'll click the approve button right here. And now your proposal is approved. Congratulations, you're moving forward with the project. If you had any questions about this proposal, you can also ask your questions here for the contractor. So maybe you want to say, when can you start? I am so excited. <laughs> Great, post that. Now what that does is it's going to send your contractor an email with your message so they can reply directly to you. Trust me, you will get an email when they reply so you can keep track of your communication. All right, let's point out some other things in this portal while we're at it. So while we're looking at this kitchen remodel job, we have a dashboard. This is going to show you a paper trail of all of your correspondence as well as any activity that's happening on that job. So if they send you another document, maybe like an invoice that will land here, if they upload photos for you to see, you can keep track of it all right here in this place. You also can send your contractor messages or emails right through this activity feed. So if I wanted to post a message, I can then say, um, I am looking forward to the project. Can you remind me of the payment terms? Great. So you can post that. Again, that's going to send your contractor an email with that message that they can reply to and you'll receive an email back. Also in here, you'll see the documents tab. This will show any documents that they are sending you. So any invoices will come through here. Maybe some change orders will come through here. So keep an eye on that. You also may see some schedule items for the job. And so in this case, they assigned me as the customer to some things to make sure that I pay my invoices and that I make my selections on time. But I might also be able to see other parts of the schedule as well, just depending on what the customer wants to make sure I'm in the loop on. Also here in the files tab, I can see any files that my, co that my contractor wants to share with me. All right. So a few other things I'll point out on here. Let's say that you're doing multiple projects with this contractor. You really like them. Maybe um, the kitchen remodel is actually your second project. So in here, we can click on jobs in your main navigation, and you can see all of the other projects that you have worked on with this customer. Let's say um, we have this deck building job. Great. So now I can see the deck build job here. I can see the paper trail for that job in particular. I can also see my documents for this, and it looks like I have an open invoice that I need to pay. So I can go ahead and open that invoice. And if your contractor allows you to make ACH bank transfer or credit card, debit card payments through your portal, those will show up as an option here on the right. And then you can go ahead and pay this invoice accordingly. Great. On here as well, you can also see that if my contractor chose to share any daily logs with me, they'll show up right here. And then you can just go ahead and review the images that they added for you. 
And then you can see any additional files, photos, or videos right here in the files tab. If you click on this little grid view, you can view them all as a grid really easily. All right. So another thing I'd like to point out on here is within your profile, you do have the ability to set a password for your account. You can access your account by clicking on any of the links from the emails that are sent to you, and it will automatically open your account. But if you'd like to create a password, you can click on your profile and add that password. That will allow you to just navigate to app.jobtread.com and log into the system using your email and your password that you created. We hope you enjoy using your portal and staying connected to your contractor.